JBN, we keep you informed. Mount Ogle bleeds for a shot. Please remember to subscribe, like, share. Leave us a comment and click the notification bell to receive our daily news items. One girl was eight years old. Her sister was nine. Both are victims of gun violence who survived a cold-blooded attack in a country otherwise distracted by the displacement wrought by COVID-19. Porter McIntosh, their uncle, is thankful to be alive after a home invasion Sunday night in Mount Ogle Lawrence Tavern, which claimed the life of one man, a 17-year-old, was also shot. Dead is 28-year-old Zalian Prime Duncan, an opposer of a Escorna Mount Ogle address. The sisters are being treated at hospital and were said to be in stable condition up to yesterday evening. The girls' identities are being withheld. The 17-year-old was treated for a graze to his left shoulder and released. McIntosh, who was at home yesterday with close friends, recounted the terror of the evening attack and the fear that seized him when he was at the mercy of the lone gunman. He said he was chased through the house before falling to the ground. The Mount Ogle resident said that he is still in shock, that he is still alive. Me run and spread out over the saw. And when me see him back at me, me I say, why me dead? Because he see when me drop, that is all me could I say, me dead. And when me look back at me, me see when him walk away, Macintosh said. Me turn full because me never expect it. Macintosh was not aware that his preteen nieces were shot until another relative entered the house and took the frightened kids off the bed. One girl was shot in the chest and the other sustained a bullet wound to her side. The nine-year-old one, her lungs kind of puncture when she gets shot. The other one, them get out the bullet. He told them they don't have children with tubes shoved down inside of them body, he said. Duncan was trying to leave the house after his wife returned to England late February, McIntosh said. The St. Andrew North Police reported that the incident happened at 7.50 p.m. on Sunday at an era called Escorna. Residents reported hearing explosions and summoned the police, who assisted in transporting the victims to the hospital where Duncan was pronounced dead. The Constant Spring CIB is investigating. Up to Saturday, March 28, the St. Andrew North Police Division had recorded 28 murders compared to 12 for the corresponding period in 2019. JBN, we keep you informed. Please remember, subscribe, like, share, leave us a comment and click the notification bell to receive our daily news items.